In this problem, I need to expand this expression here into a sum and, and or difference of logarithms. I need to use these three properties of logarithms. So let's look at our expression. I have log to the base 5 of this big old mess here. The first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to consider the quotient because I have x to the fifth times the cube root of x plus 1 in the numerator and y to the fourth times x minus 1 all squared in the denominator. So the first property of logs I'm going to use is log to the base b of the quotient m over n is the difference of two logs. And the log that is positive is log to the base b of the numerator minus log to the base b of the denominator. So in my expression, I'm going to have the positive log to the base 5 of the numerator which is the quantity x to the fifth times the cube root of x plus 1 minus log to the base 5 of the denominator, which is y to the fourth times x minus 1 squared. So that's the first part. The next part I have to do is this is a product and this is a product. So I need to use the product rule that says log to the base b of a product is the sum of the individual logs. So I can break this down into two individual logs and this down into two individual logs. So I'm going to have log to the base 5 of x to the fifth, because this is a sum, plus log to the base 5, and now I don't want to write this as a cube root, but remember a cube root written in exponential form is x plus 1 to the 1 third minus, now inside I'm going to have to break up this product, so I have to have a negative on the outside minus now, both of these logs inside the parentheses are going to be positive. So it's log to the base 5 of y to the 4th plus log to the base 5 of x minus 1 all squared. And now what I have to do is I have to distribute in that negative into the last two terms. So my first two terms are going to stay the same, log to the base 5 of x to the 5th plus log to the base 5 of x plus 1 to the 1 third power minus log to the base 5 of y to the 4th and minus log to the base 5 of x minus 1 all squared. Now what I'm going to use is the power rule that says log to the base b of m raised to the x. The x we can bring down in front and multiply, so I get x times log to the base b of m. So all of these exponents can come down in front and multiply in front of the logs. Now notice I had to break these up before I could do it. I can't bring the 5 down at this step because that fifth power does not apply to the cube root of x plus 1. So now I'm going to have bring down the 5. I'm going to get 5 log to the base fifth 5 sorry of x plus bring down the 1 third 1 third times log to the base 5 of x plus 1 minus 4 log to the base 5 of y minus 2 log to the base 5 of x minus 1. Now can we simplify this expression any further? No. When we have logs we can simplify quotients 
products and raising to powers. We cannot simplify the log of a sum or the log of a difference. So please do not be tempted to break this log up and this log up. We cannot do that. The other common mistake students make is when I'm breaking up the log to the base 5 of a quantity, when you look at all your individual logs, make sure you have your base 5 written on each of them. Because if you forget to write one of these 5s, you turn a log to the base 5 into a log to the base 10. Because remember, if there's no base written, it's base 10. So make sure all your logs have the correct base in the answer.